Hi, this is uh, Mr. Max with Sankofa Mathematics. So I have a question here. Um, you can find this also in your um, Y equals MX plus C book. I think it's about 400, 500 and something, page 524 to be exact. Um, just to look at the question quickly. So you have got a box here and maybe uh, this is very important. It says that this box is open. So I'm just going to highlight that part where it says the box is open. All right, so we have an open box. The external dimensions are indicated as you can see. All right, x plus one, x minus four and two x. So first question, you're supposed to write down the volume for these dimensions, write down. So this is a very straightforward question. So you just say two x and then x plus 4 and then x plus 1. So all of this is going to be in cubic centimeters. Okay, right. Then the next part says you must expand that. All right, so um, let me just write that down again. So um, the first part you're going to have um, 2x. So I have a 2x here and then I have x plus 4 and then I have x plus 1. Perhaps it will be helpful if, let's say, we multiply first the 2x over. So that gives us 2x squared plus 8x, but keep it in bracket because you still have to multiply that with the x plus 1. Okay, so again, that will take me back then. So that's going to be, if you multiply that one, that's going to be 2x cubed. Okay, so that's 2x cubed. Multiply that again, gives you 2x squared, and you take the 8x times the x, so that gives you 8x squared, and then the 8x times the 1, simply gives you 8x, okay? Okay, so um, you just then go and go ahead and you just simplify this a little bit so because there are like terms in between so this answer um, will give you 2x cubed plus 10x plus 8x okay so this is the um, answer to that so obviously everything is in cubic centimeters so this is the required so what you need to remember here this is the um, dimensions of the outside okay so i'm just going to write it here the outside dimensions okay right then the box is made from plastic okay so let me just bring back my outside dimensions all right because now this particular question wants us to find the dimensions of the inside right so we need to find now the internal dimensions so the internal dimensions will be, for example, that dimension there, okay, and whatever this one is here, okay, and whatever that one is there. Okay, right, so just let's bring back the old ones, the outside. So the outside one, x minus 4, 2x, and x plus 1. Okay, so this distance here, and I'm just going to write it in, uh, in black. So this one here is x plus 1. This distance from here all the way, this is x plus 4. And the distance here, this is 2x. Okay, so x plus 1 is up there, and you have got um, 2x, as you can see. So the dimensions on the inside, in the inside, you have now to consider this one centimeter thickness. Now here's the thing. At the bottom, you'll have to take away, okay, so we're not trying to find the ones inside. So the one inside here, if, uh, if you look at the dimensions here, uh, on the inside, this dimension here, okay, it's blocked by that one centimeter thickness. So it's just going to be from the top, it's going to be minus that, that one centimeter that you have. 
right? So it has to be x plus 1, but you have to take away that 1 there. So the new dimension there will just be x. So that will be the internal one. So this one on the outside, you have to take away 1 centimeters on both ends, right? You have to take away 1 centimeters on this end and also on the other side. So you have to take away 2. So the new dimension will be x plus 4 minus 2, which is x plus 2. So this is the new internal dimension. So that dimension is the one that comes here, x plus 2. Uh, let me just write it in the right place. Um, so it's going to be x plus 2, something like that. Okay? This one has to deal with the 2x. Right, so this one you have to consider taking away, again, you have to take away 2x minus 1 minus 1. So this is going to give you 2x minus 2. So that's the internal dimension here. So the internal dimension here will be 2x minus 2. Okay, so this is your internal dimensions, all right? Minus 2 because you have to take away the thickness, 1 centimeter thickness on both ends. The only time you don't take it off on both ends is because um, the box is open, so when you consider the height, you only have to take uh, 1 centimeter thickness, which is the bottom part there. Okay, right, so now they want us to find the volume of the inside. So the volume of the inside, right? So I'm just going to say inside volume. Well, do you want to multiply the x, which is our value here? Multiply that with x plus 2, which is our value here. Multiply that by 2x minus 2. Okay, so this is the dimensions on the inside. And uh, let's just maybe clean this up because we can actually multiply this up. So this is x squared plus 2, um, x squared plus 2x. So it's x squared plus 2x. And then you have got 2x minus 2. So the way I got that is I simply multiplied this over. Right, so then you go again. That is going to be x cubed, okay? And then that gives you minus 2x squared. And then it gives you plus 4x squared. And then give you minus 4x. All right, so this can clean up to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x. So this is the internal one. Okay, now we are looking for the volume uh, the volume of the plastic, right? So the volume of the plastic. So this is maybe I need to bring in um, another part to this because of the space I have. So volume of plastic is calculated. You take the outside volume minus the inside volume. So we know that the outside volume from our previous work is this one here, 2x cubed plus 10x plus 8x, okay? So this should be 2x cubed plus 10x squared, no? 2x cubed plus 10x squared plus 8x, so that is uh, 2x cubed plus 10x squared plus 8x. And we are going to subtract the volume of the inside, which is x cubed, okay? Uh, well, I believe this should be 2x cubed, right? Because you have got that x squared times that, okay? So it's 2x cubed uh, plus 2x squared minus 4x. Okay, so when you subtract, now, if you subtract, obviously, this, uh, the cubes, they cancel, then 10x squared minus 2x squared gives you uh, 8x squared. And then you have got the 8x here minus the 4x. That's going to give you, um, 8x minus give you 12x if you do that. So this is what we will require to prove right here. So this is the volume of the plastic, okay? Volume of the plastic. Right, so we're going to use that. Then they say the volume of the plastic, which we know, 
the volume of the plastic is nothing but 8x squared plus 12x, and they say it should equal to 1980. So this is a quadratic equation which you are going to let equal to zero, and then you are going to divide this equation by 4. So when you divide this, you get 2x squared. I believe there should be an x here, plus 3x, minus 495. Well, that gives you 0. That is what we were required to prove. So now we have to solve this equation. Right, so to solve this equation, well, I hope you are familiar. There is a lot of ways. So I'm going to use the quadratic equation formula. My a value is 2, my b value is 3, and my c value is minus 495. So I'm just going to work with this part, the stuff that is under the quadratic equation, that, that under the square root, okay? So it's going to be the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times minus 495. So I want to see what this is before I take that answer to my, um, before I work on that. Okay, so that is going to be the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 495. You get 63 as an answer? Okay, so the answer is 63. Right, so when I use my quadratic equation formula, this is going to say x equals 2 minus the value of b plus and minus, that's 63, over 2a. All right, so I know the value of b is 3 and the value of a is 2. Good. So that gives me one answer will be um, minus 3, okay, uh, plus 63 divided by 4. Or the other answer will be minus 3 minus 63 over 4. Okay, so the first answer will be um, 60 over 4. Or the second answer will be minus 66 over 4. Well, you can go ahead and you can actually simplify that, okay? So one answer will be 15, all right? That is this value here, all right? And 66, so one answer is uh, x is equal to 60 divided by 4, or the other answer will be x is equal to minus 66 divided by 4, okay? So when you have uh, negative 66, and you divide that by 4, you get negative 16 and a half. Okay, so the answer is negative 16.5. Okay, so they wanted you to solve the equation, so that's what you're supposed to do there. Okay, so there are many ways you can solve the quadratic equation. Just be careful so you don't make the same mistakes as I did, leaving out some certain things. Just make sure that you get that. Right, so now they want the external dimensions of the box. So we know from our previous drawing that the external dimensions is x. Let's just go back to our diagram, our diagram. So the external dimensions, okay, is x plus 1, x plus 4, and 2x. Okay, now in order for us to find the correct um, dimensions, we have to disregard the negative one. Okay. So from our diagram, we know we have got x plus 1, we have got x plus 4, and we have got 2x. So it's simply a matter of choosing the right one, okay? So 15 plus 4, and the other one will be 2 times 50. So our dimensions will be 16 centimeters, then 19 centimeters, then 30 centimeters, okay? And that is how you approach that question, okay? So, um, you can't choose the negative value because if you have to choose the negative value, you can't have a negative distance. So, the only applicable one that we can choose when we calculate our value, our dimensions, has to be the positive one so that our answer is not negative. Right, so um, the only catch with this question, as I said, is that thickness of the box, right? Um, we have to consider the thickness of both. I try my level best here to draw that. So think of this as it has some thickness under here, okay? It has some thickness to the side. 
follow. It has some thickness to the side. It has some thickness under. It has some thickness under here. It has some thickness to the side. It has some thickness to the side there. It has some thickness under, but not on top. Not on top. Okay, so that is why we only took away one centimeter there. But here we had to take um, two of them. So we had to take x minus one. So maybe this one here. So just to make sure um, that we have the correct one, we had to take two of them. That's why you have x plus two. Okay, so we have to take the thickness because it's on both sides. Okay, both sides. The same apply here. We had to take away two thicknesses on the sides in order for us to find this internal dimension. So if this internal dimensions of yours, if you miss that, then you would be having problems with this question uh, as you go forward. Okay, right. Um, good luck with your studies. Till next time. Bye-bye.